Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can enable HDR on your Xbox One X as well as on an LG uh, HDR compatible TV. So I have the LG B7 OLED TV. Uh, so it supports HDR, it supports all of the modern day standards. Um, so we're going to go ahead and enable it on there and then we're going to enable it on the Xbox One itself. So the first thing that you want to do uh, is just make sure your settings, you know, you have a baseline measurement to see where you're at. So go to the settings just however you want to get there. I know there's a few different ways. Uh, and then we want to go to display and sound, video output, and let's go over to 4K details. So as you can see here, it gives us all of you know the specifications of our TV, of what it supports and what it doesn't. So as you can see right here, now it says your TV supports uh, 4K at 60 hertz, um, and, but it's saying it doesn't support 4K 10-bit at all these different you know bit uh, frequencies as well as it does not support HDR10. So we're gonna get all these settings changed and we're gonna make sure that there's all check marks next to them. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically all you have to do on the Xbox One, it's all basically automatic. So if it detects that your TV supports it, it'll change the setting on the Xbox itself. So we need to get our TV to make sure that we, you know, tell it that this console supports HDR. So on an LG TV, go ahead and go to the settings and we're gonna to want to go to all settings and then on the left side, we're going to want to go to general and then scroll all the way down. And then this last one, HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color. So this is basically telling your TV that this device supports deep color uh, in deep color, HDR, whatever. Um, but this is the page where you're going to want to change the settings. So the only HDMI source that you should be able to change is the one that is on your TV right now. So in this case, my Xbox One is connected to HDMI 1, and that is the only option that I can change on this list. So it's unchecked right now, or I guess it's turned off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And now it's telling us that, you know, if your device doesn't support it, it won't work. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right, so let's back out of here. Oh. So we're backed out of those settings. Now let's go and jump back into the 4K TV details. And now as you can see, there's check marks next to all of them. So it automatically detects that the TV is compatible with all of this, um, all the cool settings for the display. And that's basically it. So now we'll be able to game in 4K. If we want to go and check that, you know, it's for sure enabled, go ahead and start up a game that you know supports HDR. Uh, for example, for Forza Horizon 3 as well as 4, it supports HDR. And then when you launch the game in the upper right corner, it says HDR right up there. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but there's a little icon that says HDR is enabled. So, you know, we're good to go. Um, but that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.